doing? Enoch! Wait. Oh, that's how I do it. Erin! Enoch! Is that you? Encore for me! I have such visions to share with thee. If my jaw be unshackled and you harvest the crust from my eyes, make me clean, Mandus, that my thoughts and words can unfouled be. What the fuck does that mean? Mandus? Edwin? Enoch? You okay? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Notes. May 1st, 1899. But then what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute was harnessed? Thus, would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen these things, and I will tell you now. No, no, they will not. But they will happily accept the fealty as to a god thrust upon them, and worship it thus given. And thus, I realized they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that they too, that we too, are shackled and must not, or must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross the great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. Hey, Joey! I'm so happy about this. I don't think I can turn it off. I'd really like to. August 22nd, 1899. In America, they talk of building their cities to the skies. To me, this seems folly. Perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loom beneath our feet. The engineers we employed talked of this. They talked of how, when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnels crisscrossing the capital. What palaces lie buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating, and reappropriating what we find at the center of the planet. My architect tells me there is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. Oh, Joy. Oh, hey, did you shut the fuck up? I am ascending. Oh, my God. Ascending. <laughs> okay, I want to go now. Bye. Okay. So. Let's go this way. Hello! Bathroom? Bathroom. The bath. Of course. There may be another secret tunnel. I saw that glitch. Fuck you. I'm gonna keep going. Edwin! You look, this is no longer funny. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of laudanum derivative in to feed, to subdue the product even before initiation of the process. This means that when we flag them from holding pins onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage machine and components. Other products or themselves. The section of the belt is sheathed in rubber. Kept well lit to maintain good spirits, and we have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further soothe the product. We find Debussy particularly effective in this regard <laughs> the Debussy we find Debussy well I'd certainly hope so I mean 
I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck it'd say about Debussy. I have such a great feeling about down here. Look, look at all this blood. Ah! Pigs. Yes, quite. Look, it's an amnesia pig. I haven't seen you in so long. Remember when I dumped you in a vat of acid? Quite. Slap. Oh my god, it's wet. Oh my god. I threw it so fucking far. Onto the cart with thee! To the cart, I say! Here we go, I have done my job. Does this give me achievement? I really wish it would. It may feel so good about my... Never mind. What is this do? My journal. Pumping station. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I have seen automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yarham's and Mr. Simon's work, but the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum, of that I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. Fuck you! I'm tired of reading. I'm gonna take the pig, put it on the machine. Maybe that'll do something. If it smells all wrong, then obviously it's biofuel. Pig! Fuel my machine! Fuck. Locked. I dare say I do believe it's not. Edwin! The knock! It is dangerous here! Up here. Paper! Oh good, more reading. September 28th, 1899. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man. As if this is to be desired, one might also boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, rooting carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little missives into the streets. Alleys and gutters running. Freely with the careless spill of their conjoinings, the air thick with the whimperings of lust. Body streaked with their own emissions. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased he will simply spray his seed over passers by. And yet, this is the condition Babbage aspired to. Ew! No! This is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity, and we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage, as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can, and we shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. Don't I have two children? What does this mean for me? Oh, yes, of course, we must breed with the pigs. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh my god, Waco! Let's go. What is this? What is that? 
What are you? Are you a cart? You are a cart. No, I'm a chariot. What the fuck am I looking at? Boycott! Ben swine stench from our streets. Mendes factory must close. Lovely. Okay, so I have the feeling that some people may not like me. Just to be expected in big, in big industry. I was always a businessman. Never an English profession. Delivery schedule. How in blazes are we supposed to meet these damned schedules if even the basic equipment we are provided will simply will not perform its designated function? These cursed new fangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine, and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blast tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and the one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't be turning this crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it, says I. Enough for a night into my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyways. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damson Templar for a job. Ah! Come on, Papa. Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. Climb what? Hello? I get the feeling I have to move the fucking truck. Church. Lovely. I really should have took my children to church more. Maybe they wouldn't have gotten lost. What is this? Ah, oh, absolutely a. Down. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's something definitely wrong with these pigs. Church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does suggest another route into the main part of the facility. Given the locked doors around the fueling station, the truck blocks my way. However, almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider this alternative entrance. A strange container. This container looks as if it might fit the fuel pump. So earlier, it certainly carries the same fetid and holy reek. I will not think of that which I may saw pass me in its cage. I will not gaze again into that dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself and the opportunity perhaps to gain access to St. Dunstan's. Hey! This? Okay. Son of a bitch. I thought I was locked in there. I was gonna be very, 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 very upset. A machine, you say? A machine for pigs? Well, no. Just certainly won't do it all. Oh my! It does fit! What if I crank my yank? I don't care. 
care about Enoch and Edwin. So, where must go? What does it say now? Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape, grasp this container, its putrid contents, and flee this place before that creature that nearly man returns. I will head for the church. Surely such an abomination could not follow onto his hollow ground. No, my container! I don't even know what creature you speak of, I just fucking see it! The pig mask! Now what do I do? <laughs> wow. All that gas, huh? For that little bit of movement. Fuck This you. way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my dad. Of course we can take it home. You know, when you call your kids your son's darling... Oh, this looks important. What is this? When you're calling your kids your son's darling, um, you know what, never mind, I'm not gonna say shit, I'm gonna get in trouble. Who am I to tell you how to parent? I hear noises, I don't wanna hear. My ass walking over the graves like I'm somebody, look at me go. Livestock and Bibles. Piggedly, piggedly, blue china eyes. My love comes to me in the fairest disguise. We skips, we totters. I seize her hind trotters. By and into her porcelain thighs. Wow. My fucking god, I can't believe I just read that. Oh my god. I knew reading loading screens would be fun. Higgedly, piggedly, blue china eyes. My love comes to me in the fairest disguise. We skips and we totters, I seize our hind trotters, and enter her porcelain thighs. Dare I say, it was a nice surprise. Are we in? Joy. I can stop staring at that. Now what? Inside St. Dunstan. We sat here, I remember, we sat in our block and we mourned. We prayed and we bowed our heads. How I hated God then. How I spurned him. If this is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife. Then I refute his embrace. I will carve a new god for us all. Such madness, such a fool I was. If such blasphemous ravings had remained within me, I would be doomed, but even here I feel the machine throb beneath the flags. And I know my path awaits me. Joy! Damn, I'm a cult leader even I know not to fucking do that stupid shit. Upstairs? Office. Oh boy, my reading! November 23rd, 1899, twin candles bent to the will of the central saint, casting the light in the corners of the chapel Father Jeremiah I thought could be trusted with the secret. But he is like all the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pins with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. The fuck are you talking about? Good Lord have mercy. You don't want to think about this. 
Dare I say, this is the creepiest chapel I've ever been. Oh boy! Stairs. Let me take these stairs. I saw them first. Dungeons and Dragons. If only I knew where my children were. But I don't. My children have gone into hiding. And it makes me sad. What's this? Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity. One of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back awful at mankind. I'm gonna get in trouble for these. Alright. anywhere else I want to make sure that like the fucking candlesticks not in here somewhere Edwin Enoch are you hiding here among the pews father always knows here's the best player of hide-and-seek cannot escape me Enoch, 
I found the candlestick! Oh, don't worry about that noise, I'm sure it's just the choir boys. My children are perfectly safe. Father Jeremiah's journal, October 1st, 1899. They flock to us now. Well, once I had to walk amongst them to bring salvation into their lives. Now drawn by warmth in winter, by the food that Mendes distributes. My church is full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are specially trained for the new machinery he uses and that it would be irresponsible, nay, unethical to risk such precious lives as he sees here, a changed man since Mexico. It is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy and from the confines of his sickbed, as he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the rise to become the dominant food produce, produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. Wow! That's not what I fucking heard him talking about them earlier! Yes, of course, I only donate to the poor and the rich. And the horse, especially the horse. Hey! The fuck was that? Oh, good! The engine fires, the flames are stoked. I hear steam in the walls, vibrations upon the very air. My heart falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of this dark contraption, but my children beckon me on, and I cannot fail them. Edwin! Enoch! Hey. Oh goody! It appears I have no choice. Thus I descend, and may God have mercy upon my soul, and if this is my bedlam, and I am to be cast as Matthews, then I will wear that mantle for the sake of my boys, and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. Joy! I'm sure I'm not releasing anything. No, 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 you son of a bitch. Did you just really? You fucking did. Oh, wonderful. It appears I am trapped. No idea how I'll get out, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Oh, cages. Lovely. Listen, Papa. Hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. Oh! Really, my children? Do tell. I'd love to hear nothing more than the sea right now. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh! What's the... Uh, uh, words. <clears throat> These final thoughts. What exhumation... Exhumation is this? What rotten fruit? What a be stitched in your parts. I doubt I'll ever be found, yet I leave you this, scrawled in the melodorious half-light, whilst my tormentor shuffles below, my fellow prisoners keen and squeal in the gloom, and where I wait for the knocking upon my cage that signifies it is, finally my turn to make the dark journey into the interior. Oh, joy. Oh, good. Is there a woman down here? Please tell me it isn't so. Fear not, madam! Captain Saber! Ah! Let me out! Shut the fuck up! Hirak, Borosto, 
Fendir. Fendir must If I had a chair, I'd fucking beat you to death. Oh, I really would. Where's I at? Fear not, madam! Captain Saberho is here. <laughs> One of the pigs have got an out. Mm, surely great. Oh! And it appears my way is blocked! Wonderful. That's nice. And so do the stoking. The fog will not lift. The ship is becalmed. Everyone lies in the half-light waiting to drown in the dry air. Here's the paperweight that hallists them. What the fuck is hallists? Ballas? Somebody tell me I'm not an idiot, and that's actually a B. Oh, Ballas. What the fuck? More of a city that looks like an H. Use a different font. Maybe I should train myself to read. Ballasts. Yes, maybe I should read. Maybe, maybe quite quaint quality life. And so do the stoking! I'd really like it if we could fucking get a move on. There, I got an achievement. To the throat. Entering the factory in a machine for pigs. Oh! Goody. I sure do love it. It is a rare achievement. It is a diamond. I don't know why nobody plays this game. It's pretty good. I dare say it's one of Edwin and Enoch's favorite games. Locked. Lovely.
water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks and the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. I have reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards, down step downwards, to find those flowed waters and drain them away. Like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of its vile cradle. Yes, we shall. My little children, my little children's. Wonderful. Is that a radiator? Oh, it is. Good, I was afraid I'd be cold. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government, they make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now! How so? It's really odd to hear my own words. My voice just sounds a little deeper because it's in the gramophone. Oh, I'm sure this is fine. Most unnatural. Hunchback? Is that you? Quasimodo? Should you go up or down? Up or down? I should go up first. Perhaps down. So lovely, so nice, so serene. Take it, you are the saboteur. Ah! October 17th, 1899. Each compartment is or ergonomically designed with a feed trough at one end, so the product naturally settles into a position ready for the stunning arms to connect to the skull. We use the natural static charge built up by the friction of the cards against the belt to build an electrical charge, which is contained within glass vacuums, canisters, the sides of the stunning arm mechanisms, and delivered along the stun arms via copper cabling. We have observed that the artificial lightning contained within these canisters seems to calm the pressure. 
not to further post stunning the line tilts sharply to the vertical the physics of which tips the stunned product upwards to fall directly onto the hook of the bleeding line this hook passes normally through the haunch or thigh of the product and from this point we dispense from the belt with the belt and instead instigate a channeled floor which creates a funnel allowing blood and byproduct excretions to collect and run to the fluid collection tanks oh goody nothing goes to waste here does it i wonder if we do it with people too Get the feeling we fucking surely do. If it all the talks of sacrifice. Oh, good. something with you. Why else would you be open? Pig? Charcoal? Pinkle. Char pig. I say they are. Oh, three! Four! Oh, you most certainly are fueled. I don't want to go that way. I hear screaming. Good. That's four. I guess I feel the more. I don't know why I'm doing this. But I see a machine I can interact with and tells me I can do it. These arms are made of steel, these arms are silent, the pistons are silent, the plant is at rest, I must poke the hornet's nest to open my way. I fear the scale of these engines suggests a far greater works than is visible from the surface, so my friend must be correct in the larger part of the plant is underground, we are close to Thames. No wonder flooding is such a risk. Oh goody! I'm so fucking... Fires are stoked, assuming the same architect is responsible here as with the chemical plant. I surmise that the centralized control system regulates the operates the pistons. 
It should be a matter of fighting it and holding the saboteur relented after simply extinguishing the fires. This game is so loud. and on to the bilge pumps and if the doors should be locked I'll have to find another means of descent I cannot trust him but my path is set I shall ignore these noises the snuffling those shuffling steps below me I will pray whatever lurks beneath and I will save them I must go my people need me no naked flames well I have a April 30th, 1899, the crate arrived this morning and I had to deliver it to, directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved, although there is a somewhat nauseous stitch of damp and rot. It is humanoid in shape, but suffers severe skeletal deformity, remnants of leather straps and cased torso, which is deformed with evidence of substantial muscle mass and displacement. It is difficult to ascertain whether this unfortunate is the recipient of some barbarous torture, surgery, or was born deformed in an attempt to force his gnarled body into some semblance of humanity was made. What he is, I cannot tell, but I smell the orb upon him, and suspect my great uncle's presence in his curious condition. The orb? So it can be done. We can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the process of Mr. Darwin's evolution, but here my great uncle and I become, and I part company. He chose men as the subjects of his experience, but men are difficult to control and rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our ch chattels. Loyal, clever, strong, easily sated. Ah! 